Hello everyone, today we're talking about questioning and discussion techniques. We're looking at element 3B at, at the proficient level. The proficient level classroom, this is a teacher that has been a teacher for some time. Uh, they know their stuff and they know what's going on and it's, it's typical of a, a veteran teacher. Questions at this level inspire students to dig deeper and to deepen their understanding. Questions that they ask are both divergent and convergent, and they use a lot of hypotheses and making connections with between students and the content that they are teaching and the kids students are learning. The teacher builds upon student responses. It's not just a yes or no, but it's, uh, well, let's unpack that. Let's look at that a little bit deeper. What about the questions and answers in the, in the proficient level classroom, questions are animated and engaging. There are high quality questions and not just yes or no questions. So when it comes to discussion techniques, there's lots of student interaction, but there is, there is a subtle difference between this and the distinguished level classroom because the, t the students take more leadership at the distinguished level. The teacher does most of the work when it comes to the uh, proficient teacher. The teacher at this level is a guide on the side rather than a sage on the stage. And so you need to think about that because they get kids in the game just like a coach. They inspire them, they talk them up, and they, they, they get them out doing the work. Levels of student participation. There are lots of levels of student participation depending upon student abilities, especially those with special needs. So if you need additional help or questions on this area, give us a call or talk to your building principal. I'm Scott Shorty from Madison School District. Bye now.